So the question today is, can you use a regular AC load center, this is a Square D QO, to run DC loads or use them to combine a battery? Um, so let's dig into the details here. I'll show you what I got going on in my basement and uh, we'll look at some spec sheets and you will find out the answer. So this is the inside of my load center here. Uh, this is a square DQO, um, and I'll put the part number up there. Um, and so I have 12 batteries connected in parallel. And the way we're doing it is we have the negative, then the positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, and so on and so forth. Up top here, we have negative and positive. So if you look at these bus bars down here, these are live, but there's only about 58, 60 volts DC in them, so it's okay to touch them. Um, if you see here, those alternate. So this one comes from the left side, which is the negative side. The next one comes from the right side. And so what we're able to do here is we're able to take a two pole breaker, I'm using 20 amp, um, and we're able to go negative and then positive, which corresponds up here. I ran out of black wire, so I used brown. So up, up top here, we have the combined output. So that's all the batteries combined, and this goes out to my inverter. And it comes in here, into the inverter. So the, the strange part is, is that nowhere in this breaker panel does it say that it can be used for DC voltage. Um, and so originally when I, I saw one that was used for an old 12 volt system and I saw it being used for DC and I was like, well, I guess, I guess it's okay, but I, I didn't think it worked. Uh, I didn't think it was, you know, legal to do that. Um, but if you look on Schneider's website, there are a couple of different documents referencing this. Um, and basically what they say is they say that you are allowed to use up to 48 volts DC uh, into a single pole breaker or up to 125 volts DC into a two pole breaker. Um, the, the load center and the breakers are UL listed for up to 48 volts in a single pole breaker and they are Square D certified, they're very careful not to say UL listed, um, up to 125 volts DC uh, in a two pole. So, uh, you know, in, in a, um, a situation where something was being inspected, you know, you needed to have everything UL listed, you would go up to 48 volts, and they do not say up to 50 volts or 51 volts or, or 60 volts, they say 48. Um, and so you could go up to that 48 volt number with a single pole breaker, but for a two pole, uh, up to 125 volts, um, technically it's not UL listed, but it is, uh, square D certified. So they say it will work. I trust them as the manufacturer. Um, you know, I, I trust them more than a no name brand. But if you were to use this on a, on a 24 volt system, what you would do is, you would use, so you would use um, one pole for your positive, and that would go out here. And then you could use the neutral bars, and I would leave them isolated, leave the green screw out. Use the neutral bar as your negative, um, and then tie your negative, your main negative, into the neutral lug up here. Um, so that, that would definitely work. Uh, this load center is rated at 225 amps. Um, and with the, the single inverter I have right now, uh, there, there's never a chance that I'm going to pull any more than that. Um, so this works for me. Once you start going to a lower voltage system, your amperages are probably going to get higher depending on, you know, what type of uh, inverter you're using, what, what the capacity of your inverter is. Um, so 225 may not work, um, in which case you might look at something else. So important thing to note here is that I do not have a main breaker in here. Uh, the main breakers are not rated for DC. 
Um, so make sure you don't use a main breaker for DC. So when, when these breakers are used for DC, they have a maximum interrupting rating of 5K AIC. So that's 5,000 amps interrupting current. Um, when they're used with AC, they have an interrupting current of 10,000, which is what you need for a typical residential service. Um, but 5,000 amps uh, is, so that's basically all of the current that the battery could dump into it at a given period in time when something shorts out. And this breaker has to be able to shut that off. It has to be able to quench that arc. It has to be able to deal with that current and not self-destruct. Um, and so these are able to do that for 5,000 amps, um, which is sufficient for my battery bank here. The other cool thing with this is I can add up to eight more breakers uh, to the 12 here uh, for expansion. So I'm already working on expanding my battery pack um, and I have seven more going in. So this thing's going to be basically full when I'm done. Um, Got to figure out what to do next because I'm going to keep expanding, I think. Um, but yeah, it, it allows for easy expansion. So all I have to do is just take another breaker, pop it in. And we're good to go. I can hook up to that and I'm all set. So, you know, if you don't have a battery that requires this many spaces and you just want to do a small one, you can do a small load center too. You can do a, you know, a, an eight space with, you know, four breakers. Um, that'll work just fine. You could, you know, if you're doing 24 volt, you could use the eight breakers in it. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be this big thing here. Um, I've just done this because, you know, this, this battery is powering my house and, uh, you know, I wanted to keep expanding it. So any QO breaker is rated for it, um, with the exception of the main breakers. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope this helps everybody with, uh, you know, future builds or, or just getting new ideas on how to do things. Um, if you don't mind, hit subscribe, hit like, uh, share this video with your friends. Um, and, uh, We'll catch you on the next one.